Hey guys, welcome to Tolan with Newman. So I get a number of questions on uh, how do I how do I print my pack outs? How do I how do I do I order them? Do I print them myself? How do I do this? Do I do this? Do I do that? So I figured, why not? Let me give you an explanation video on how I personally do my pack out inserts. All right, so these are John Pope designs, and I'll show you exactly how I build it from start to finish. All right, let's dig into this. So first things first, you got to choose what tool you want. So I, on this specific one, I'm going to use the, the M18 heat gun. And I want to put it in my the five compartment organizer. This is part number 48228435. This is a compact, the deeper one. All right. So now I'm going to go on the Internet and I'm going to uh, download the file. So here I go to uh, the John Pope Designs website. It's johnpope.gumrob.com. And then I'll scroll down until I find the design I want, which the design I want is the, is the M18 um, heat gun, which is right here. Boom, there it is. Click on it. There it is. That's the file I want. I want that. So what I'm gonna do now is you go to add it to the cart and then you purchase it. Now, it, when you purchase it, see it's $15 here, but that's 15 Australian dollars. So that's like 10 US dollars, something like that. So you purchase it and then I add it to my cart and then I download that file to my computer. Any uh, editing software that you use, I use Creality Print, which is just the one that came with my machine. And I go to the file I open up whatever file I want, which is downloads. I'm doing the John Pope one, which is the, the heat gun part B. You click on it, you open it, and then you add it in here. So then there's my file there. It's on the build plate. It's ready to go. Now what you got to do is you got to hit slice, which what slicing does is it, it breaks it down into 3D print layers. So this is a slicing program. So once I hit slice there, it'll slice it and it, it, it'll take a little bit. Sometimes uh, there's a percentage up there. Sometimes it takes, you know, five, 10, 20 minutes. I guess that depending on the size of it and how fast your computer is, my, my computer is pretty slow. Then I'll upload it. As soon as it's uploaded, then I'll just go and I'll hit print and then it'll wirelessly send it to my printer. Then once it's finished printing, you come over here to your printer and you just remove it. A lot of times uh, the beds cool down, so it just flicks right off. See that? It just You could just flick it right off. It, if that was warm, then you wouldn't be able to flick that right off. And there is a printed piece fresh off the printer. John Pope Designs. Uh, if you don't know about a printer, this is called the bed. The nozzle is here. Uh, and that's the extruder, basically what pushes, they call fulfillment out, which I use hyper PLA. And then that's what makes your model there. My handle and my label are printed, ready to go. The, the, the handle normally comes right off the label. You normally got to kind of sort of peel off there. There it goes. That's how it prints. My label is done. So now I got everything printed and ready to go. Now I'm ready to put it all together. So let me get some space here. So here's your, here's your pack out uh, organizer, how it comes. I'll take it out. These boxes I get rid of. Um, I keep them, use them for things, whatever, whatever you want to do with them. I get rid of them. Now I've got my plain pack out. I also, me personally, I changed out my handle which if you haven't seen my video before, all you do is wedge a little screwdriver in the corner there. If you look right here, there's a little um, a nut in there. All you gotta do is just wedge a screwdriver behind there and then pry the screwdriver forward a little bit and it's gonna put out this nut and then you just pull this right out. Sometimes it's harder than others. That, and then I get my 3D printed one that I've 3D printed 
and I put it in. And then I'll put my little nuts back in there. Sometimes you just use a little a little tap tap just to make life a bit easier. Alright, that guy's in there. Now I get my label. So you might be wondering what this what is this around the outside? If you see here, like I could I could probably peel it off. Yeah, you could peel it off. So what that is, that is called the skirt or maybe the raft, whatever you want to call it. It's basically almost like a stabilizers. Because this is so skinny, uh, this might not stick on the 3D printer and it might start moving around and, and then it's going to just print like crap. So a lot of times you add what's called this skirt, which is just a, a, a small thin layer just to give it more like bed adhesion. So I could peel that off. And on some areas there, there might be some sharp areas. I'll use my Tajima chisel knife here and, and I'll just clean it off a little bit just to make sure it goes in there cleanly. You can always like sand it down the edge a little bit or whatever. And then what I'll do is I'll paint marker uh, uh, the right in here just to make it stand out. So I could do that right. Hold on, sorry, I gotta move the camera. You know, you just get a paint marker. I just use a standard paint marker and I just, I just fill it all in. Um, if, you, if you've got a, a printer uh, with ABS, which is basically uh, the ability to print two different colors, you, could, you can print that uh, just like, like that without using my paint marker. Unfortunately, my printer is not up to speed like that. So, however, that's how, that's how I print it. And I just fill it in. And then on this label that I printed, and the, the, the file for this label, I got this off the line. This is off of thingiverse.com. It's a free file. So, and then this specific model, it just slides right on in there, just like so, with a little push. So then once that's colored, that'll be very noticeable. All right, that's step one. Step two is uh, the insert. So again, this is a, a, a John Pope design insert, which is where I get all my inserts from. Um, just to give him credit and the same thing here this guy has like the skirt or, or the uh, bed raft on it see that so what i could do is i could peel it off and then also this part too that is um what is it? they call it um a stabilizer or, or whatever you want to call it a support that was it that's the, sorry that's the word i was looking for support it's a support sometimes uh they'll print support so i don't think i have an so if you're printing, like, let's say you're printing something that has like a, like a bridge over it, it's going to generate a support of, cause otherwise if you start printing that, it's going to start to melt over and it just won't print cleanly. So they print, it prints the support and a lot of them do it automatically. So here, once I peel this all off here, I'll get it all off and then I'll, I'll get my, my chisel knife here and I'll just clean the like clean up, clean off any edges, any sharp edges that you want to get off the sharp edges because it's not going to fit inside your pack out cleanly. That looks pretty good there. Oh, a little edge here. That guy looks pretty good. Yeah. So it goes in there, sits in there just like so. Then I have my, my other piece that I just need to clean off a little bit. You can also use a bit of heat on these because obviously it's made it's made uh, by heat. So if you use a bit of heat, it does smooth things out. And, and this is the, the material I'm using is hyper PLA. So it's not it's not the most durable material. Like if you're um, if, if you got it in the heat or you're going to be using abusing something, you definitely want a harder material uh, like PETG or something like that. However, for, for me, these guys stay pretty much in the AC 70, 80% of the time. I'm not going to, and they're not going to get used and views. I'm going to try and take care of them. I could just use this. So this has the holes here to where you could put like a dowel in here so you can connect them. I, I don't do that because they're going to be hard connected inside the pack out case. So they're not going to move around at all in that. So, so I'm pretty, pretty confident in that. 
All right, that's that. Here is also this. This is part of your uh, when you buy when you buy John Pope designs. He also gives you all of the accessories, the different bins that come with your pack out. Uh, one of them being this little case here, which is a little battery case, which is kind of cool. I guess I didn't need it because the battery can just go right in there. Or if you have like a different the other the, the bigger battery, it can go in there. Um, but I'm just going to keep this battery with it because I am. So that can go in there and this can go like so. Fit in just like that. I get my put my heat gun in there. Fits in just perfectly. Then what I, I have all my little my little bits here for the heat gun. And then I also have um, I've got some heat shrinking tube which I am going to put you know, maybe I'll keep the heat shrinking tube in here and not bring it. No, no, no. I could put the heat. It, it's kind of like you got to kind of design it how you want to design it. Maybe there I'll keep it. Is that, or maybe here. Let's try to do two different spots. I'll put heat shrinking tube there and I'll put some underneath there. And then that's it. So that, that is how you, you build your John Pope pack out. Close that guy up. It's labeled. I'm going to fill in this label at some point. And it looks all ready to go. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching How to Make Your Pack Out Insert. Tolumanuma. Tolumanuma.